Jason Ryer here. Hello, hello. Going live. Facebook Live is starting. Okay. I think we're live. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Jason Ryer here. Yes, it says I'm live. Welcome to this live stream of information that I'm going to give you around fasting to build strength, for fasting for strength. And so I want to tell you that I actually did this whole, I mean, maybe it was like 15 minutes long live video yesterday, and I did it on Instagram Live, and I was taking people around and showing them exercises I do, and, uh, and then I went to post it after I did the video, and um, the app shut down, the app disappeared, and I lost everything. So, so here I am doing it again, but not on Instagram Live. I'm doing it specifically initially for my Facebook group, uh, for the people in the men fasting to go beyond weight loss group. So going beyond weight loss to burn fat, build strength, detox, and boost productivity. So, so yeah, if you're, if you're joining, if you happen to be on live now, then, then please, or if you're watching this later, then you can actually answer some of these questions and I'm gonna ans answer these questions as well. So what exercises are best while fasting to build strength? So, so yeah, fasting is something that's super important to me. My history of it is, is getting into health and wellness and going deeply into that and actually coaching and helping other people out and realizing that key question that I would ask people was, well, what, what's the timing of, of your food intake, uh, your meals, that sort of thing? And the answer was, was usually like, you know, maybe you can cut that back a little bit and do what's popular, popularly called now intermittent fasting or IF. Um, so yeah, so this is all part of, in our men fasting group, we're doing a promotion of a theme of what's called End Summer Strong. So hashtag End Summer Strong. And, and I'm asking you now on the video, do you fast? Um, if so, leave a comment, yes or no. If so, perhaps what do you do for fasting? You can share. And then do you exercise while fasting? And do you exercise to build strength? So that's what we're gonna talk about how we can combine those. So if you missed it, I actually did a video before. I shared it in the group. I shared it in a few different other places. So this was part one before. And I wanna quickly highlight what I went over there and what you learned there if you watched were the benefits of fasting and strength, how fasting works to build strength and how real people build strength fasting. So sharing my stories and other stories of what people actually do to build strength while fasting. So what will you learn now? Well, I'm going to quickly review the benefits of fasting and strength that I went over before, just to make sure you, you're up to speed on the same page. Number two, I'm going to talk about how do you build strength. And number three, uh, strength training examples. I'm actually going to do a bit of a show and tell. I've got some things here that I'm going to show you. And perhaps I may even get up and, and demonstrate a few things so you actually get to see it in action. Um, so what, what questions do you have? about strength training, and especially while fasting. So if you have any questions around that, leave a comment. I'll get into some of these things now, but uh, if anything comes up, feel free to, to leave a comment and let me know. So why fast and build strength? In other words, what are the benefits of fasting and strength training? So one, you live longer and healthier. Two, you burn fat. Three, detox your body. Four, boost productivity. Five, you're more resilient to stress. And number six, you have better body composition, which means you look better naked. Uh, and why focus on strength? So um, that, that's something that came up was, well, why? Why do I focus on strength? And for me, number one, it's fairly easy to measure my strength. So I do this by going into a gym and I can actually look at how much weight I'm lifting in kilos or pounds and I can measure that. I actually keep it in a journal from day to day so I can see how much I'm doing and I'll get into the exercises that I do for that in a moment in my schedule. And so 
Yeah, and measuring, so why not measure muscle? So measuring muscle is actually a good thing to measure as well, but it's a, a bit more difficult. So you could measure like, you know, you could put um, a tape measure around your biceps, for example, and see how the muscle's growing there. Though the challenge is that there's more than just muscle there, right? There, there's fat. So if you're building fat, you're going to be measuring that as well. Uh, what you can do is get like a comprehensive scan of your body, like a DEXA scan, and that's going to give you some really good information. So if you have that available, then yeah, you can you can measure your your mass as well, your muscle mass, your lean body mass, um, and uh, yeah. So why focus on strength number three? Strength builds muscle, right? So these are something I talked about before: the difference between building muscle and building strength. Um, they're very similar, yet different. So you can't have, you, you know, you're going to get one with the other, right? If you're focusing on muscle, you're going to get some strength. If you're focusing on, str on strength, you're going to get some muscle, although it's not evenly correlated. So you can have some people who are still skinny. Like me, I'm, I'm very skinny, yet relatively strong, right? So I'm, I'm kind of like skinny strong. Um, and part of that is just my, my body type is... Uh, is what I would call an ectomorph. Um, so yeah, so strength will build muscle and in turn burn fat. So that what we talked about before boosts your metabolism and you burn more fat. And this actually helps with athletic performance and resilience. So how does fasting work to build strength? So when you're fasting, you're actually boosting growth hormone or human growth hormone, which is beneficial in a lot of ways but definitely beneficial for building strength and building muscle. Um, number two, you burn fat. So fasting to build strength, you burn fat. Um, so you're actually getting more muscle mass and again, building your me metabolism. And you recover faster by way of getting into ketosis and autophagy, something I talk about a lot, especially in my, my programs, Master Faster Challenge. Um, so here's, here's the show and tell. So, what are some exercises that build strength? So, so getting into the actual exercises, before I do that, I wanna talk about activity and movement versus exercise and training. So I think of those as, as two separate and different things. So activity and movement, I think it's becoming more and more evident that this is probably more important than exercise or training, just generally being active. So not standing or sitting in the same place for too long. Um, because this can have some detrimental effects. So what I do is I set a timer and I have this app called brain.fm and it plays music for 30 minutes and then when the music stops, kind of like musical chairs, I get up and move and do something. So I, I can just get up and right now I'm like flexing my muscles, being present about my body. But, but, but yeah, I can get up, stand up, move around, walk around. Um, I can do some calisthenic exercises. So, so yeah, and I you know, I'll do like um, maybe like rebounding. I have a mini trampoline where I can rebound. Um, like I said, I can flex my muscles. I can do some calisthenics, push-ups, pull-ups, that, that sort of thing, or just like stretching. Um, it could be anything. So it can be kind of like rehabilitation exercises as well. Um, so, so that's what I call activity and movement, staying active throughout the day. Um, and maybe that could be for you getting your 10,000 steps. Um, so then for exercise, uh, I do generally what's called high intensity training. Um, and I know the, the popular term is HIT with two eyes, high intensity interval training, but I like to shorten that and just say high intensity training, uh, much simpler. And, um, and what that is for me is various workouts. So the popular one that I used to do was the seven minute scientific workout. And you can look this up online. It became really popular because they actually did a study and showed that people burned fat and lost weight doing it. So people get super excited when there's a study that says you lose weight, right? Um, so everybody jumped on board and there are probably like hundreds of apps and YouTube videos on doing the seven minute scientific workout. So what I do is the tried and true for this, I'll do the show and tell uh, Fit Deck. So Fit Deck is a deck of exercise playing cards. And I've had this for I think like 15 years or so. So, so I'll just take out some cards shuffle them up and do the exercises on there. And I'll usually do, um, you know, I'll do this on Tuesdays and Thursdays generally. So kind of as, 
an easier day for me where I'm not going super intense doing these calisthenic exercises. And I'll do maybe like 15 or 20 cards um, around midday between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Um, before I officially break my fast. So I'll do this semi-fasted. And I say semi-fasted because in the morning I often have some kind of bulletproof type coffee drink. Um, and then before my workouts, if I'm doing something more intense, perhaps not the fit tech, I'll have some more some other supplements, including like ketones and essential amino acids. So, so all of that to say, yes, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do a fit tech workout. And then I do on Mondays, I'll either do what I call a neuromass or which, what is called a neuromass workout or a pistol 101 workout. So working on neuromass, which is, um, I can try to demonstrate actually the I'd have to go way far back. That's not going to work to demonstrate it. So um, I'll, I'll leave, I'll, I'll share this some other time, but neuromass is actually three basic movements. Um, and I do these with different exercises. So the, the main one is doing air squats. So calisthenic squats and doing the first moment motion is very, very slow. So slowly going about as slow as possible for a minute and a half and focusing on those muscles and using those muscles, the posterior chain, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads, and really focusing on that whole chain of muscles while you're doing those for a minute and a half. The second part of neuromass is the explosion. So after that, take a quick rest for a few seconds and then jump. I'll jump as high as I can off the ground and do that until I feel like I, I've lost my, my jumping ability, which is usually around like seven to 10 jumps. Um, and then I'll do the third part which is the hold. So I'll get back down in my squat position and then just hold for about as long as I can for maybe like 30 seconds. And at that point, if I've really done things right, then it should be burning quite a bit. So, so that's neuromass on Monday. The other one is pistol 101. So four exercise to work up to a pistol squat, which is essentially a single leg squat without any help. So balancing on one leg and going down and back up. So I do four exercises, which is just a calisthenic squat, two-legged squat. So I do that 10 times. And then I do, um, I guess, I forget what it's called, like an, an archer squat. So if you spread your legs like this, and then go down to one side, and then down to the other side. Uh, so I'll, I'll do that one. And then the third one is a seated pistol squat. So this one is, is pretty simple. Um, standing up and I just stand on, on one leg. I know you can't see my legs, but then I, I squat down on the chair and back up. And that's an easy one just to do for like, if you wanted to do for basic movement every so often. Um, so I'll do five of those on each leg. And then I actually do the, the assisted pistol squat, which can be like a pole in front of me. So something I can hold onto and ratchet my way down and back up as I'm doing them. Or I have TRX bands to help me with that. So. So yeah, that's the Monday, either neuromass or pistol, pistol 101 training, um, working my way up to doing full on pistol squats, which I can do uh, sort of, like th they're challenging, but I, I can do them. Um, and then Wednesday is weights. So weights on Wednesday. And so this is what I described a little bit before about how I measure, am I getting stronger? So I'll go in the gym and do very basic, five basic exercises, so I'll do squats, deadlift, bench press, pulls, and for number five, shoulder press. Um, so doing those, and I'll do basically a bit of warm ups and kind of work my way up to a heavy weight that's challenging and do one really difficult, challenging set with heavy weights. And so that might be like, you know, five, five to, to 15 reps depending on how heavy it is and the exercise that I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> so that's on Wednesdays. And so what's left is, is Friday. And for me, Friday was yesterday. And Friday is my running day. So alternating one week, I'll do sprints. Another week, I'll do what's called VO2 max, which is closer to like a, a cardio workout. So yesterday it was VO2 max. So I run for four minutes, about as fast as I can go for four minutes rest for four minutes and repeat. And I do that four or five times. Um, so then 
I'll do for more like kind of cardio. Um, a new goal for me is on Saturday and Sunday. Today's Saturday, so I'll try to get 10,000 steps each of those days. And I'm tracking that with my tracking device here, my Aura Ring, which will track my steps. steps. And then the bonus is that I do almost pretty much all of these outside in the sun. So getting advantage of all the benefits of the sun, vitamin D production, which is going to in turn make us more resilient, stronger. Um, so definitely something that I recommend. So that's it. Um, so we reviewed the benefits of fasting and strength. We talked about how do you build strength? And I gave you examples of what I do. And, and I actually did it, I showed you how to do it. Um, and I do have one other thing here that I didn't show you is uh, blood flow restriction bands. So these, if you're not familiar with these, these will restrict blood flow. I can strap this around my arm and tighten it down and that'll restrict the blood flow going down to my arm, which essentially in studies is really interesting because it sends the signal to the body. I don't need to do a lot of weight. Then I can do my exercises with very little weight. And it's sending the signal to my body because of the blood flow restriction that I'm working really hard. And it's sending those signals that, oh, I need to get stronger, right? And so people actually get stronger from, from using those. Um, though for I pair those generally with the slow movements that I do uh, because the studies say for like high intensity training that there's actually not much of a benefit. So I'll take them off when I'm doing the explosive movements. Um, hope that makes sense. Uh, this is the last week for our men fasting to go beyond weight loss to, to end summer strong. So this is our last week. So I'm curious what everybody is doing to end their summer strong. Comment and let me know. And also I'll share a link to uh, my free guide that I offer, the seven things that you must know before fasting for effective weight loss. So I'll, I'll share that below and click on that. You'll sign up for my newsletter and, uh, and we'll, we'll stay in touch there. Thank you so much. See you soon.